Thanks for staying here on News Desk. It's time to talk sports. Normalization committee, not a tax force. What does this really mean for our football here in Ghana and our efforts to sanitize the system? George Ado Jr., does it really make any difference? Uh, we, we, we have some sort of extension yeah. and the name of the association or committee force, has yeah. changed. So, um, It's really difficult with the performance of the normalization committee. Well, let me leave that because the FIFA tax force, the first job they will do when they get into the country will be to assess the normalization committee's work so far. But the critical thing is the FIFA Tax Force will just have you know, deeper involvement from FIFA because there's going to be a four-member committee, we're told, and we're expecting two FIFA reps on that committee. So that will mean FIFA wants to get the job done, and it gives you a feeling that so far they are not quite impressed with the rates of the work and what they've been trying to do in trying to normalize you know, Ghana football. So this is just you know, a slight step away from what was you know, Ghanaians trying to solve okay. a problem that they had. And now there's an infiltration definitely from FIFA with two representatives. And I'm sure they're trying to quicken the process. Help, us, the help us understand this because we know that three members of the normalization committee are exiting. Yes. And we are told there are going to be more people coming on board. Yeah. Does it mean we're going to have the normalization committee and the tax force working concurrently? Yeah, I think, it, I mean, eventually the normalization committee is off. Okay. Like the Ghana FAX school was off. So the normalization committee is off. And there's a FIFA tax force that's taking place now. You have only, you know, Dr. Kofi Amwa, the chairman of the normalization committee, now part of that, that team for sure. And we'll have two reps from FIFA and another. So it's not like the normalization committee in terms of the composition. But they are yet to, they are actually coming to do the job that the normalization committee hasn't quite done quickly in the first six months. We're expecting them to confirm the September 30 deadline for the extension and hopefully by then uh, everything will go in of course what are what do we need to see happen in Ghana football what really do we need to see happen we need to see the statues we need to see um, all the other problems with statues regulations electoral college being sorted out and then there has to be a clear roadmap for election mm. for a new Ghana FA president and allow football to go from there it's been really really difficult I'm sure um, you've probably, if you have not read it, you have to go on my journal and Hans, uh, my colleague Hans Mesa Ando has put together a great piece on what he thinks about the normalization committee. But of course, we'll leave it to FIFA to decide mm. what they have made of the situation so sure. far. So we are not in normal times and we need to try and get it down. But the Black Stars will be looking to get a result over Kenya. And I've heard many people say, why, why, do you, why is this game so important? I think it's important because the Kenyans beat us at the Kasirani Stadium by one girl to nail. And they are still talking about coming here and doing the double over Ghana. And it would not be too good, a Ghanaian who love football so much, that you finish in a group, Kenya first, Ghana second. It's not something that you would like to see, really. And again, there are points available. There are points available to pick mm. in the process because uh, FIFA ranking is very, very important when it comes to seeding and all of that. So it's important that we get into this one. And we have a full house now. But we have qualified, though. Company. Yeah, so we're qualified for sure. And, 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 and looking at our history, yeah. do you think um, with our teams, they appear to be more serious and conscious when they've already qualified for tournaments with a game in hand or two in hand? Yeah. Do we go into such games wanting to win at all costs? Yeah, I think it's, it's all about finding a reason to win. And I think they have been able to find a reason to win. It would not be, of course, like we need us three points badly and we're going in there. So the coach would have to tamper a bit with his squad. I'm sure he will do that in terms of the starting lineup to keep the players fresh and hungry going into it. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting one. So I'm sure the Black Stars will hope to get the job done. But we have some interesting games as well to come. Can you believe South Africa have not qualified yet to the Africa Cup of Nations? And they, ha they have a big tussle with Libya to try and qualify. That's a big one. Yeah, that Angola, is a big one. That's a big one because <laughs> Libya are playing you know, away. Even though it's going to be in Tunisia, they are playing um, away. They are playing at home and South Africa are traveling. If South Africa can get a win, they need to draw badly. If they don't get the result, they won't qualify for the Africa Cup of Nations after beating Nigeria. So that's a problem for them as well. And then we know between Angola and Burkina Faso, they're also trying to tussle it out. In the CAF, um, Confederations Cup, we've seen, you know, Aris Bekani do very well. And so we, uh, they have a lot of Burkina Faso mm. stars. We expect them to go through it and get the job done. But on the international front, last night there was Germany versus Serbia. It was the first time we were seeing the German team with the, the top three guys being relegated to the background. 
but it was one all, and guess what? They were booed. The German fans are not excited of with course, the kind of football of they are course. seeing. Um, so, if you've been following the German <laughs> machine, the German, you know I mean, what I mean, it is. They, 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 they really need something to happen. And yeah, I think we, have to, we want to give them a bit of time going into it to see how he puts this team together. Mm -hmm. But there are wonderful games to come, and we're keeping our fingers crossed to see if Germany will become the Germany again. It doesn't often take too much time. Well, definitely. Well, let's see how it works. We definitely will be keeping our eyes on this and bring you more sports in other bulletins.